Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Center time. So if that's something you're interested in, I'd love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So as you can tell by the title, today is going to be another skincare trial. We are going to be testing out the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser and Moisturizer. I have been dying to try these out as if you don't know I have a dry sensitive acne prone skin and these products seem like they'd be perfect for me since they have salicylic acid in them which is a great ingredient for acne and the lotion is for dry rough skin so we have some good products here to try out I have tried out so many products from CeraVe um, a lot of their cleansers their moisturizers stuff like that and I thought why not try out some more for you guys and you guys really seem to enjoy my last video I did on CeraVe so Hopefully you enjoy this one too. So if you want to see me test out the CeraVe salicylic acid cleanser and renewing lotion for about one to two weeks, we'll see how it goes. Um, just keep on watching. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters. All right, so as with all my skincare trials, we're going to look at some product information before we get into actually testing the product to see the product claims and the ingredients and all of that. So let's start off with the cleanser. This is the salicylic acid cleanser. It's just a clear gel. It's going to be a gentle cleanser that exfoliates while maintaining the skin's moisture barrier. And I think that is awesome to hear since a lot of these salicylic acid cleansers could be very stripping to the skin or not just salicylic acid. More of these acne cleansers or very exfoliating cleansers um, can be very sensitizing and can disrupt your moisture barrier. So the fact that this has ceramides in here to kind of maintain your moisture barrier is really nice. And this is supposed to be a skin smoothing formula because of course salicylic acid is an exfoliant that will go deep into the pores. Looking on the back here we do have those three essential ceramides to keep that moisture barrier intact. The salicylic acid it is non-comedogenic so it says it won't clog the pores. Don't know too much about that I do need to look more into that. If you have any information on a product being non-comedogenic comment it down below in the comments because I'd love to learn more about it. It also has no microbeads and if you don't know what that is you know how some cleansers have those little tiny ball like beads in them that sometimes dissolve while you're cleansing. Those can actually be a little bit irritating to the skin if they're rough um, and they're supposed to exfoliate but you can, you know, cause irritation to skin through that. So none of those. And it is also fragrance free, which I appreciate. It's supposed to be gentle on the skin, paraben free and non-drying. So, so far that sounds really nice since I do have acne prone skin. And on the website, it does claim that this is an acne prone cleanser for skin. I've had hormonal and cystic acne since I was 13. And although I have learned to manage it a bit, I do get breakouts from time to time. And that's why I test these products to see how we can fix that up throughout this week. Suitable for rough and bumpy skin, again, with that exfoliating. It's also enriched with vitamin D for antioxidant protection. Interesting. Developed with dermatologists, and I feel like CeraVe is a brand that a lot of dermatologists recommend just because it has simple ingredients that are effective, and I appreciate that as well. We also have hyaluronic acid in here, which is also going to help with the moisture barrier since hyaluronic acid is a humectant that draws moisture from the environment into the skin to help with hydration. And then we also have niacinamide, which is supposed to calm the skin. Um, so that sounds actually really good so far as a cleanser. Um, you get, you know, a good size in here, 237 milliliters for a pretty affordable price. Um, and my brother has actually been using this cleanser for about like four months now or something even longer than that. I have uploaded his full skincare routine on my channel that I developed with him, but I have myself have not had a chance to try this cleanser out, but I've heard great things. Welcome to my bathroom guys. It is now time to try this out for the first time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. I do like that CeraVe has these lock tops. It's really nice for traveling. I'm going to start by wetting the skin with lukewarm water. Grab some of the cleanser. I might have grabbed too much. So it does foam up quite a bit. Foaming usually tells me that it might be a little more on the drying side, but the cleanser does claim to be non-drying, so we'll have to see. 
And sometimes that lathering experience is really nice. I know a lot of people like that in a cleanser. See how it can help with this chin acne I have right now, which is not my typical hormonal acne. It's more just like from the weather and the heat and sweat and stuff. So at least I have breakouts to test this on. That's always what I think. I break out for you guys, to test out products for you. Honestly, the skin doesn't feel as tight as I thought it would feel. Um, it definitely feels very clean though, but not really stripped. Like sometimes acne cleansers um, like this strip my skin so much and my skin literally feels like so tight, but this one doesn't feel that way. It just feels very clean. All right, so my skin still doesn't feel tight. Um, like, you know, it feels like in need of my serums and stuff, but it doesn't feel overly dry. Um, I think if I didn't apply any of my serums and stuff, I wouldn't feel that tight, but though I do have dry skin, so it's not gonna be like moisturized after that cleanser, but I don't feel like it really stripped my skin, which is good to see for all my dry skin ladies out there. But I definitely feel like this is a cleanser that kind of all skin types would like because it cleanses enough for oily skin I feel like but not stripping um which is good too I'm gonna go ahead and apply my serums all right so now let's move on to the salicylic acid renewing lotion and they do offer the salicylic acid renewing lotion and cream the cream is more like for body, I would say, whereas the lotions are a bit lighter, so I like them for the face. Um, so this is supposed to be for extremely dry, rough, bumpy skin. It's gonna help to prevent um, and reduce the reoccurrence of dry, itchy, red, and flaking skin. A lot of times with acne, I do find that the spot when it dries up, it does get really flaky and dry around as it's healing. So I'm interested to see how that works. It's supposed to exfoliate to improve the texture of skin, which again, with acne, we do get some texture and bumps. Um, it has salicylic acid, ceramides, ammonium lactate, which is basically lactic acid, which um, is like a lighter exfoliant. We also have hyaluronic acid in here, and it's supposed to penetrate deep into extremely dry skin to hydrate and nourish the skin's moisture barrier. And then the salicylic acid and ammonium lactate is going to help loosen and exfoliate dead skin cells and allow that moisture to really penetrate even better. Um, so you're supposed to use this on um, any itchy spots or dry flaky skin. It claims to be a lightweight, non-greasy formula. And then it also has MVE technology, which is a patented delivery system that continually releases moisturizing ingredients to the skin throughout the day. That's really cool, actually. Non-comedogenic, hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, dye-free, and non-irritating. Although this is a first impressions, I have used this lotion before. Not on my face though, but on my legs. I actually get very dry skin on my legs, and then I start getting these bumps. I'll try to find a picture. Um, and this usually happens in the winter when my skin's super dry and I get these bumps. And this lotion has actually really helped with that. Um, I'll apply it overnight, like a really good layer of it. And it does take down the irritation, the itchiness, um, and that texture that's on my legs, as well as helping with the dryness. So um, maybe, I'm not sure exactly how it'll work on my face, but we'll give it a go. So take some out. Very similar texture to their, moist, uh, their daily lotion. Just that like conditioner like feel very light no fragrance and already i can tell it's just like a nice moisturizing feel it might be a little bit thicker than the daily lotion so this is my skin guys on day one first impressions we got some acne around my mouth here so let's see how these products can help me out i'm going to continue using the cleanser both day and night as well as the moisturizer both day and night and i'll keep you guys updated hey guys i wanted to come on here and give you an update i've been using the cleanser now for about like four days i think and i feel like it's actually helping my breakouts i haven't gotten any new breakouts since using the cleanser but so far i'm really liking this um it cleans my face really well i just finished using it right now but it does not strip my skin like my skin never feels tight after using it which is really nice from like a salicylic acid acne type wash it like doesn't 
completely strip your face of everything to make sure it's cleaning it. So it's a really nice balanced cleanser. Now I just applied my serums and I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer. I do like this so far too. It's actually been keeping my super dry skin nice and hydrated. It does make me look pretty shiny though. Like it's not a greasy moisturizer because it sinks into the skin really fast. But see how it just like leaves this glow to the skin. But during the day, I'll go a little bit lighter um, so that I'm not like looking this greasy, if you can kind of see that. But it does really hydrate the skin well. And I kind of like that I can get some salicylic acid through my moisturizer too. And it's a product that moisturizes my skin, but also helps with acne and bumps and all that. So yeah, that's my update so far, guys. All right guys, so it has actually been um, some time. I did record my two week update, my final update on these products and the file got deleted. So I'm going to redo this final update. But either way, let me spill the tea on these products and my actual thoughts because I have a lot to say. Let's start off with the salicylic acid cleanser. I really actually enjoyed this, um, probably more than I actually thought I would. I think if you have acne prone skin, this is an amazing cleanser that you absolutely need to try. I was really, really impressed by it. It was super gentle on the skin for being, you know, a cleanser targeted for that acne prone skin. Usually cleansers like that are very harsh, you know, they can be very drying, stripping because a lot of the times oily skin comes with having acne, but for me, I have dry skin and have acne. Me. So I feel like this one can actually be formulated for kind of all skin types. Um, I could see someone with oily skin really liking this. My brother who has normal to oily skin really enjoys this. Um, and someone like me with really dry sensitive skin, I actually really like this. And I think because it has those ceramides in there, it kind of balances out and makes sure that you're not over stripping the skin. So overall, this was awesome. You know, it definitely lives up to the claim that it gently cleanses and slightly exfoliates, but still maintaining the skin's moisture barrier, which is so important to me. I like a cleanser that can definitely balance that out and make sure it's doing a good job cleaning the skin, but not overdoing it and completely stripping and doing more damage than good to the skin. Um, love that there's salicylic acid in here. If you have acne, this is a cleanser for you. And I feel like it's a great one to check out. It didn't irritate my skin at all. My skin's super sensitive and I didn't experience any issues with that. So overall, really enjoyed this. Now let's talk about the renewing salicylic acid lotion. And oh my goodness. I think I have found my new favorite moisturizer. Now you guys know I have loved the CeraVe Daily Lotion for like ever now. That one has definitely been my like top moisturizer. Um, but I've never come across a moisturizer that can also help with acne. That's not really something you see. Yes, there are some moisturizers out there formulated, you know, with salicylic acid or those other great acne ingredients, but a lot of the times they are more targeted to oily skin. That's one thing I definitely see. I have tried out moisturizers for acne prone skin, but they're usually not enough for my super dry skin. And I definitely need another moisturizer or a different moisturizer that can really give the moisture to my skin that it needs. But this one right here is formulated for extremely dry skin, which is something you don't typically see. You don't typically see, um, you know, an acne ingredient like salicylic acid formulated for dry skin in a lotion. So maybe I just haven't seen many products like this, but this is one to me that I am so impressed by. I 100% feel like this has improved my skin so much and it's been able to tackle my acne while making sure that my super dry skin is moisturized enough and wearing this throughout the day, my skin does not feel dry at all. I love this both AM and PM and overall, if my skin is really just feeling like it got the life sucked out of it, when I apply this, it really rejuvenates it while keeping my acne at bay too. So. I am so, so impressed by this. I cannot stop raving about it. I feel like it's not talked about enough. And if you're someone like me with acne prone and dry skin, I would definitely check this out, see if you like it. Um, and as I said, I have used this like on my legs, on my body before, just because I get super dry, rough, bumpy skin. And that is the skin type it is meant for. And it has actually really helped to not only help with my acne on my skin, but also those bumps I sometimes get on my legs and arms. So. I'm obsessed. I can't stop raving about this. Um, it, I really, really did have a 
amazing experience with this in the last two weeks. So overall, I really enjoyed the salicylic acid line from CeraVe. I think it's awesome. This one right here is definitely like my top new favorite moisturizer. And this one has easily become one of my favorite cleansers. And overall, I really like how my skin has been looking since I've been using these products. I think they did a good job controlling my acne while also making sure that my dry skin is not compromised. That is all I have to say about these products. I hope you guys enjoyed the skincare trial. If you want to see more videos like this, I will link my whole playlist down below in the description. I have done tons of these videos. So if you did enjoy though, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, I do want to mention I am now a host on a different YouTube channel called The Acne Channel. You can go check me out there if you want to see more content from me. We post lots of skincare tips and you'll see videos from me about once a week. So definitely go subscribe to that channel as well. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at Lavinia Rosanda on both platforms for extra content. I hope you're having a lovely day. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters in my sheets